Good afternoon, students. Welcome in video lecture of employability and skill development. We have started the unit number five, skills for interviews. Today we are going to discuss the point listening skills. In this listening skills, we are going to discuss the two points. First point is the virtues of listening, and second point is the fundamentals of good listening. We will see these two points one by one. Everyone can be a good speaker, but listening is an art. It is also that listening skill is also very important in a group discussion. So, in group discussion, if you are not listening properly, you will have no connectivity with the discussion threads started by the your members group members. So at that point what happens? You may lose or you are not getting that particular threat which is shared by that particular member and it is very difficult to give the opinion on that particular point to you. So at that time you have to pay attention and listen carefully what he is saying. Now under this particular listening skills, we are we will see that particular first point as the virtues of listening. Now, listening is a fundamental to successful communication. Whenever you are doing the communication, at that time you have to listen carefully, pay attention on that particular other side person, and this is a good fundamental thing for the successful communication. If you are listening carefully, you can answer or you can deliver your message properly to that person. Okay, it is an important skill to understand and interpret the message correctly in the communication process. It is a paradox which means that the more sophisticated communication we have, the less sensitive, sensitive we are as a listener. Okay, we are swapped with the several digital means of communication, but still we are struggling to communicate and understand the what is the communicated force that we are struggling for. Though this thing is considered a, a very easy and effortless activity, in reality it demands greater observation and adaptability from the listener because the adaptability is the capability that prepares a person to catch with other person's speed, message and sense of immediacy. For good listening skills is an asset, that means a good listening skill is an asset for any individual person. In fact, many corporate places, the political leaders, corporate persons or leader, political leaders and social activities attribute their success to listening skill. Effective listening skills are instrumental and fostering good relationship, optimizing productivity, improving oneself and creating a harmonious environment at the workplace. This is the all about the virtue of listening. Now, by considering this, we'll see two more points under this virtue of listening as listening is not hearing. See how the hearing and listening it is different part because they are not same one. Here it is said that there is a clear dis uh, distinction between listening and hearing. Hearing is about perceiving sound, whereas listening it requires completely attention and sense. So this is the difference. Listening is an active process involving focus not only the meaning but how the meaning is formed through the type of the language used, the tone used, 
tooth and voice and other physical tips while communication takes place. Listening takes note of both verbal and non-verbal content of message. Right. So, this is what happens with the hearing as uh, because the any audio, auditory message not received well would just create a sound which is happening with the hearing only and fail to understand. So, this is you can see that what happening with the you can see that you are hearing and the next point it is considered on the, under the virtue of listening is the barriers to listening that means the influence which are coming in uh, by listening that particular thing so listening is a probably the most ignored to all communication skills see what are the communication skills are there also Many people are not that much deep paying the attention while the that particular listening one. So it is said that listening is probably the most ignored one, ignored for all communities. Right. So fundamentally, if you are interested, you can improve your listening. If you are interested, you can improve. And for that thing, you have to take care about some sort of the things which are preventing, right, which are interfering to that particular listening, right. And first is the, first, the, here I summarized some sort of the things as, uh, uh, I think six points are there. First is the prejudice, which is nothing but partially or uh, you can say that preconception while the listening. Second one is the less uh, self-concentration. Uh, third uh, one is the distraction. Four, fifth, uh, fourth one is the selective listening. Fourth one is the, uh, sorry, fifth one is the language background. And last one is the, you can say the cultural setting. Mostly people are given by their, uh, you can see that uh, preconceived uh, set of uh, some beliefs and uh, assumption, right? And sometimes what happens, they are not understanding what the listener, right? Due to that particular partially, partially getting message, they are not what the speaker he is saying one and due to that they will you can see that uh, uh, get uh, less message, not proper message you receive. For the self-concentration, here some people, they are not, uh, you can say that what we are sharing that uh, they are not concentrated, uh, that means they are not understanding uh, the other's one. They are not considering the other's uh, perspective during the communication. What they are saying, okay, no, no problem, I am having all the things. That means they are only concentrating on their own. That's why it is called as a self-concentration. They are not listening other people or other members who are uh, sharing their opinion. Right? This is the one, another thing. Distraction. Okay. Uh, distraction, it is nothing but your, uh, you can see that it is the physical disturbance in your uh, office premise or you can see that even in your workplace. That means in your workplace, suppose some uh, people are there, the, that particular members are there and due to their noise or you can say that they are uh, attending the phone, at that time they are speaking loudly, that is also you can get disturbance by the you, whenever you are listening to some other people. Selective listening, in that selective listening you are considering only partially part from that particular speech. You, and due to that thing, you are getting the only partial information. You are not getting all other entire thing. Language background. What happens in this language background is that if you are considering some whatever the different language backgrounds uh, of the sender and receiver, which is you can see getting some sort of the uh, big interference for that particular listening one. Okay, in your workplace. So it, it will get some, you, you are not get that particular problem and you interpret your listening concepts. And 
cultural uh, cultural uh, setting in that cultural setting what happened uh, as the uh, your workplace which is having the people from different uh, culture and regions due to their this thing they will share that information in that in, in their manner and you are not getting that particular point so it, you have to take about these things so while considering your that particular listening thing or you become a, you want to become that particular well or uh, understand that particular uh, uh, proper speech of that or message of that from the speaker then you have to take care about these interpunts Okay, then only you will get the entire message point. Now, by considering this thing, under this, you can say that this link scheme, uh, we will consider the, we will discuss the second point as the fundamental of good listening. Right. right. Now, in this fundamental of good listening, here, listening is a skill that can be developed and mastered with the uh, uh, persistence and preparation. If you want to become a good listener, you have to develop yourself, you have to improve your skill, listening skills, right? So that is important, right? And uh, one of the writers uh, uh, that shared one thing that how genuine listening has become a rare gift. The gift of time, right? Gift of time. It helps build relationships, solve problems, ensure understanding, resolve conflicts, and improves accuracy. At work, effective listening means you are having fewer errors and you will require very less time to perform that task. At home, it helps develop a resourceful, self-reliant kids who can solve their own problems. At least, uh, another thing is that whenever you are considering this particular good listening, or if you are considering the fundamentals of good listening, under that, we can say that listening builds up friendships and careers. Friendships and careers. Right. And if you want to become a good, you can say that uh, listener or you can to become a, uh, improve your, uh, not only become, improve your communication, as well, not communication, listening skills. Then you have to consider the following, some sort of the fundamental tricks or tips. Right. And these are be open-minded, be focused, be empathetic, be sincere and silent. Be sensitive and be observant. We'll see in a small, uh, you can say that discussion, these all the point as a be open mind in the sense your mind should be open one so that it helps uh, you to uh, keep attention on your speaker and uh, uh, you can uh, listen objectively, right? And uh, during that thing, you have to avoid to make the judgments while attending that particular speech, right? That is important one. Be focused in the sense, the best thing you can do for your speaker is to give them your, your oh, sorry, undivided attention. That means you have to pay proper attention without having any disturbance in your mind you have to listen right whatever the the things happening outside right you don't uh, see that thing you keep your whatever the important things papers hold your uh, calls stop looking any other place you just give the attendance while Listening, that is a B focus. Be empathetic. Empathy is an integral part of good listening. Try to put yourself in the speaker's shoes and understand his/her intent. 
what he or she is sharing, what he want to say. You just give yourself attention on that particular thing. Right? This is the important one. That's why it is called as a uh, be empathetic, as empathy is an integral part of a good listening. Be sincere and silent. One major problem often encountered in the communication process is uh, that everyone wants to speak and no one wants to listen. Right? And to be a good listener, you must remain silent while listening to the speaker. Right? And whatever he is sharing that message, you have to prepare your mind to listen that particular uh, whatever the message silently silently that is the thing now next is the be sensitive in your efforts to improve listening keep your sense alert to engage activity in any given situation right which will help you Grasp that particular message in its totality. Totally, you will get that particular message in that particular. Be observant. An active listener will not only observe that is being communicated, but also notice what is not being communicated by that particular speaker. Right? So, it is one good thing that if you are clearly observing that particular thing, right, that may be verbally or non-verbally, but you have to give the proper observation attention on that particular speech. So these are the, some sort of the fundamental good listening things which are considered while the listening or by improving the uh, your uh, listening skill. Students, if you are having any doubt related to this, uh, these two points under the listening skill, so you can ask me anytime. Thank you and uh, good uh, be care about that particular things of all the topics and uh, well study these topics. Thank you.